Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and I've just received this through the post. So this has just dropped through the letterbox this morning and I'm going to compare it to the previous DVD from Air Arrow which was fully uncut and just to see what they compare like. So let's get into this. Uh, I wasn't expecting this today actually. I was thinking it would be more uh, Monday but you know I'm all for that if you can get something a little bit of oh, deep joy. So from Arrow I've got the limited edition Don't Go In The House. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to open this up, give you a look and see what's inside. It feels very heavy, actually. Uh, I'm going to go and compare it to see what the picture quality is like on it, and also to see what it stacks up like with the previous DVD, which I think was around about 2010 when this came out. Um, what I'll do is, well, usually I don't take the, um, the oh, it's got this removal 18, which is brilliant. So this is going to look absolutely spectacular, this slipcase. This is one of the reasons why I got this one. This is the Arrow exclusive one which you've got to get from Arrow Video. It's even got that sort of really uh, tacky look up there as if it was from the original iDent from a company that released it previously. And uh, this looks like a, a sort of really just look like a, a Video Nasty cover, which is, I think this was the Video Nasty cover, and this is one of the reasons why I want to get it. So I hope Arrow do this more often because as a collector, and no one from what was uh, on the shelves in the video nasty era. Also, I'm going to give a quick mini review of this movie here and just a little bit about it, just because people have been asking what, the, what I thought of it. I'm going to go into a bit, a few more details of it. So as you know, I usually keep my shrink wrap on. So I'm going to get the shrink wrap off this one because I just think that this cover needs to be seen to the best light as it can. Nurse Scalpel, thank you. I'm really excited to, uh, to get this to get this movie because uh, it is a great film. Uh, I know it's a video nasty, and I think the brief history of it was that even when it... See, this was on a Section 2 band video nasty list. Now, to me, if this movie is it's uncut here, if this had been released uncut on VHS, it would have definitely been on Section 1 because it is very graphic. But um, I think it was cut on video, and I think it was cut in the cinema as well. And this is the full uncut version, as the previous DVD was. That's the first time I saw it on there. So yeah, so here you go. This is the cover. This is just uh, unreal, really, to see this. I, like I say, I just really hope that Arrow will do this. So um, you'd get this cover only from Arrow website if you uh, order it from there. I ordered it, but pre-ordered it, because as soon as I saw that cover, I thought, I've got to have that. So here is the... Um, the cover there would probably be i think there's i don't know if there's another slip cover for this actually there might be a band slip cover and this slip cover so in the set check this out you have a blu-ray you also have a blu-ray of the extended cut which i would imagine i don't think that was on there i really don't i think there's only one version on there and also you get the nasty bonus disc another blu-ray so that's three blu-rays all region free and uh, let's get a booklet in as well let's have a quick look at that you get this uh, card in which is uh, oh that's good that's from the film shock which i just watched the other night and had a great time with it i'm actually going to put this in the case of shock so um i like doing that when i get a, a movie that uh, is from the 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 card that's from the movie i like to put in there so the alternative artwork on here is this cover here, which I'm not too sure if this is the, I don't think this was released in, it's not a UK release, I think this is a US cover, I think. And this is obviously the new um, artwork for the, um, for the Arrow version. To be honest, I'm going to go to this uh, version and put it on here because it's, this whole disc is kind of retro and I want this retro look to it. So that's what I'm going to go for. So that's the cover there. That's a brilliant cover, actually. Really good. Um, also, you get this. Let's see what this is. Is this a poster? Yeah, it's a poster. Small poster. Nevertheless, yeah. That will look good up in the studio. I wish you get this artwork as well. That's nice. Very small poster, though, I feel. I don't know why it's that small, but never mind. You get a nice booklet as well here. Now, this is, I'm sure this is like a limited edition. And uh, I don't know if this, if you were to buy like a, a sort of uh, down the line, I don't know if you would get these these three um, cuts of the movie or these three discs. I'm not too sure about that. I don't know how um, limited this is with the three disc version or this this uh, presentation you're seeing here. Um, 
This movie itself is a really good movie. It's one of the better nasties, like the way it's put together. I think it, uh, it does feature uh, some good um, work of the, the main character who comes across a little bit like the character out of Maniac in a slight way. And uh, I think it's um, it's done really well. The, the the burning scenes with a flamethrower are really well done. And I think that uh, the, the had, they're not, they're gonna, not gonna win awards for having the way that they've uh, filmed that thing, but it was very clever how the uh, how they shot it with using mirrors, I believe. So, so yeah, so a quick note about the transfer is Don't Go in the House is presented in three different cuts on this limited edition Blu-ray. The 83-minute theatrical cut originally released in the cinemas in 1980. The 89-minute television cut, all instances, which removes profanity, graphic violence and nudity, but reinstates some deleted scenes to pad out the runtime and the 92 minute extended cut which regenerates or reintegrates the deleted footage into the uncensored theatrical cut as well as restoring the film's original working title The Burning. Mm. All three cuts are presented with the original monaural, monaural, can't even say it, monaural, monaural, monaural soundtrack. The theatrical cut of the film was restored in 2K by Severin Films using a 4K scan of the original camera negative. The negative is unfortunately no longer complete, so an inter-negative element was also scanned in 4K resolution to use to use to replace missing or damaged material. The additional scenes in the television and extended cuts were sourced from an existing master prepared by Scorpion releasing in association with Multicom Entertainment. The film was graded by Lanny Lawrence. Conform work on all three versions was performed by Seven Films and Mark Morris. Additional audio restoration was performed by, performed by Matt Jarman and Bad Princess Productions. Wow. So that's, they've redone, uh, they've done some work on this movie. So I know when Severin do some restorations, they do a really good job. So I've got every faith in this looking really nice, but I'm just blown away by this whole presentation on here. And I'm just saying, Arrow, please do more of this stuff. This is what Arrow were infamous for and uh, much loaded for in back in the day. And I want to see them get back to some of these roots that they, they had. Um, and I think they've, they shouldn't turn their back on this type of movies because uh, it was their bread and butter back in the day. So, okay, I'm going to go and compare this and I'll tell you what I think about them. Okay, so just got back from checking this out. And wow, uh, am I impressed. Now, this uh, DVD here, it was released in 2012, actually, so 10 years ago. So it's took them 10 years to sort of get this one back out in uh, Blu-ray form. Um, this looks quite good, actually, as DVDs go. It's not a bad one at all. It also does feature this uh, reversible art, which um, I do like. This is the uh, original art here, or the, original, the first, the main cover, and this is the one that I opted for. This short-lived Arrow Drone subsidiary from Arrow was um, quite a uh, quite an odd little one. The DVDs came out, and there's a lot more DVDs than I thought. Arrow put out quite a few of these um, these quite good titles, and I might go looking through these and see if any of these uh, haven't made the the jump into Blu-ray yet. So the DVD of this movie is quite decent actually. Uh, the picture quality here does look quite uh, quite nice and. Uh, it's, it's not a bad release if you were at this point, you could not get this movie at all, apart from this uh, this release in the UK. But of course, this this uh, release here has blown that one right out of the uh, water. When I put this disc on, I thought, right, I'll have a little much through each, uh, each disc. Now, to me, I would think that the third disc is the one that might not be the one that would be released uh, if this got like a sort of standard version. Um, so the, uh, the third disc, the, the amount it's got tons of extras on here, absolutely unreal. But this third disc here, it's quite, a, a, and they're all got Dolby Audio on it actually, and they're all region free, the discs. So I've just checked out that this disc here is the limited edition nasty version, and I would imagine it's the nasty version means it's the one with this case on. So maybe the one that's in the shop uh, doesn't have this, this uh, setup. But the, this is such a, a good disc, I've just briefly checked it out, and I think it gets. Uh, as well as getting the cut on here, the nasty cut, you also get the VHS, uh, you get a VHS version, you also get the cut VHS version, and you get, I think you get about five different cuts of the movie on here, which is unreal actually to think that you've got this whole um, other, if you wanted to look at, check all these, the older versions out of, of this movie, you get actually 
the one that's uh, like open matted as well. This video is this film is probably shot in one three three, like a square frame, and it was probably um, cut like uh, matte formatted to get it to one seven eight presentation to fill up your whole screen on a widescreen TV. This has got the one that's the square version, so you see you do see more uh, footage at the top and the bottom if you want to go that way. Um, the one the one that cuts here it hasn't really been tidied up, so it's got a lot of scratches on, which I don't mind at all. Actually, sometimes you sometimes you get in the mood for that type of uh, that look that look to a movie. So for me, if you want to get this one, you do need to go to the Arrow store and buy this version, which is the the nasty version. So the other two Blu-rays have the movie on, and the movie does look quite spectacular, actually. I mean, bearing in mind this is a 1980 low-budget movie, but it looks really nice. And uh, whoever's cleaned it up, seven have cleaned it up. They have done an amazing job in it. They've got rid of all the sort of artifacts, uh, and it's it, it's quite a dark film in some scenes. And you can really see into the darkness, which I love about a uh, movie. When you see a good uh, restoration, you know they've took some time out to make sure that the, the film, when it goes dark, you just don't see nothing. You see what's in the darkness, which is a big uh, favourite of mine when I'm coming to check out movies. Because um, a lot of these ones, when you saw them on VHS, you hardly ever saw they were that dark. You never really saw what was going on in some of the scenes. In these, in these, when you see it in this presentation, in this format, you will see it like all the stuff that you couldn't make out before. And like I say, this movie and sometimes is quite dark. Uh, so I'm so happy with this. I didn't really realise that this third disc was going to be included. I thought the nasty version was just really just to have this um, this slipcase on. But look what you're getting. You're getting this extra disc. It's, uh, it's I think it's still available on the Arrow store. And you also get before you get this poster, small poster, and you get the booklet as well. So I think that this Arrow have done a really good job of this. And I do, I, kept, I said it before, I do really think that Arrow need to go back to doing these type of things. Uh, this is the attention to detail that I think Arrow have been kind of lacking a little bit in their sort of standard releases of just, you know, just movies. Some of the movies have put out, I've got no intention of ever watching. I don't even know about them and I don't even want to know about them. They're a little bit too, um, not obscure, but they're just not my type of stuff. I prefer this stuff when I will get into this and do some really obscure horror movies. And uh, and when they're presented like this, I mean, you can't go wrong, can you? I mean, that in the shelf is going to look absolutely brilliant. So talking about that, I just want to go quickly through this movie here, Effects. So this company here, the American Genre Film Archive, they are releasing quite a lot of stuff on through, 80, through 101. Uh, in the UK. Now this was, I think this was the first one they released because the, uh, the serial number on here says 01 at the, at the, at the bottom. Now I've got to say this, this uh, presentation, this packaging looks amazing. Uh, and so the other films do look amazing as well. The only thing is I'm going to have to say about this movie and I'm not going to say that I expect it to look good because uh, for some reason I just had this thinking that it was going to be a bit grubby and it, it is grubby. It's not uh, what you would call a, a great transfer. What I like about what I like about this movie is uh, the fact that it was completely thought lost. There was the, it didn't the thought had been sort of destroyed and there was no actual uh, way to uh, see this movie again. So the fact that they've been able to br bring it out from the fact of it being lost is uh, quite a good a good feat. And the actual movie itself, I did watch it and I thought I was a bit on the fence with it because to be honest, I didn't really know what was going on for a large portion of it. It's a bit of it is a bit of an odd movie. Um, it does have some decent effects in it, and the storyline is a bit confusing to say the least. To be honest, I watched it at the wrong time. I watched it very late at night, and I fell asleep in some part of it. But uh, I am going to go and watch it again because the film when I, I did watch the ending, and I thought, right, kind of know what I was getting. I kind of know what the film's about now. But yeah, I'm going to go and watch this movie again because when I watched it, I thought. I didn't really get it, and uh, like I say, I fell asleep for about 20 minutes, so that didn't help. But um, uh, the jury is not out on this one, but I will uh, give it another shot, because on first watch, I was quite uh, underwhelmed by some of it until I watched the kind of the ending of it, and I thought, ah, that's what it means. I will go back and uh, pay more attention to it the next time. And uh, it's got some good extras on here as well. I do think the other ones that they're going to release in this, uh, this series are going to be better than this one. I think this one isn't the best one. I'm not going to say it's a brilliant movie because I don't think it is a brilliant movie. I'm more for saving movies that are all forgotten about and this movie could have been lost lost at all. To be honest, I didn't even know it existed. So in a way, I'm quite happy that I own it. And 
I will be getting more of these ones. But when I've when I've been asked, what do you think of it? I'm going to say, I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea. If you're in a low budget horror, kind of horror, you might get away with it. The acting is pretty poor in it. Um, the effects are pretty good in it, but it's um, it's not an amazing film. But I like the thought of having it. So it's not one of these ones that I'll instantly get away, like sell. But I want to um, check it out again because I think... I think I'm really interested in collecting more of these movies because I just like the look of them. This is another thing where I'm saying that the, the cover has got me. Um, but I think that I might have to um, not recommend it that much. Recommend it with a caveat to say, not buyer beware, but just, just to think that it's not the greatest of film. But if you want it for its sort of like rarity, then I do suggest you pick it up. Maybe it'll come down, maybe it'll be in a sale quite soon because I can't imagine this unless these are limited, which I don't think they are. But um, quite a quite an odd little number. That's effects. So to recap, Don't Go in the House is an essential horror movie. I find it's very graphic. It's got some great set pieces in it. The uh, the, the sort of killer in here, he plays a great part. He's got you can actually feel for him. And it's, it's weird because he's doing all these barbaric things with the flamethrower, but you can kind of kind of be not on his side at all, but you can kind of understand in a way. The thinking behind him, a bit like the Maniac film, is a bit like that. And this release here, if you can't get your hands on it, I urge you to do it because you get that extra disc, which has got all them sort of goodies on, which is to do with, if you're a fan of VHS and you're a fan of the whole um, the whole Video Nasties thing, when was uh, this, is, this was on the shelf. So for me, I just really hope that Arrow continue to do a few more like these. I think they're really on a winner doing this. Uh, the way they've just sort of retro fit this and then if they do this they've stuck this extra disc in to make it worth your while to pick this one up if you want to go down that route so i think this is uh for me highly recommended and in the fact of its presentation its packaging and also the fact it's pretty decent nasty it's one of the better nasties that you'll see okay so this one goes out to the shops on the 7th of february i got this one a bit early because i pre-ordered it from arrow as i imagine most people are getting some today so um yeah i highly recommend this i really do and uh I think if anyone gets it, will be blown away by it. So, thanks for watching. You take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.